We all know that the digestive system comprises the esophagus, the stomach, the small intestine, the large intestine or the colon, and then exiting at the rectum at the anus. We also know that the digestive system includes the associated organs of digestion, such as the liver, the gallbladder, and the pancreas. With so many parts of the body being part of the digestive system, you will not be surprised that there are many symptoms that patients can experience, which could be referred to various portions of the digestive system. For example, patients may complain of a discomfort in the upper part of the abdomen, a symptom which we generally call dyspepsia. These symptoms may be painful or may feel like a gas bloat or may feel like a pressure and can, can be quite intense and uncomfortable. Yet, such symptoms cannot easily be diagnosed on history alone because many parts of the digestive system may give rise to discomfort in the upper abdomen. For example, esophageal conditions, peptic ulcer in the stomach, ulcers in the duodenum, even the gallbladder or the pancreas and parts of the colon may all give rise to discomfort in the upper abdomen. So it is necessary for a gastroenterologist to take a very good history to analyze the symptoms and the pattern of symptoms, as well as to do a physical examination and then perhaps undertake some tests in order to diagnose the cause of the upper abdominal discomfort. Also in the esophagus, there is a condition called gastroesophageal reflux disease. This is actually very common and patients tend to complain of heartburn, which is a burning or hot sensation in the chest. Or sometimes they have acid regurgitation, which means sour liquid from the stomach is actually experienced at the back of the throat. This condition occurs when acid from the stomach rises into the esophagus when it shouldn't normally do that because there is a valve between the esophagus and the stomach. When the acid rises up the esophagus, it irritates the esophageal lining and can cause inflammation or even erosions, and sometimes with bad consequences like scarring or even um, bleeding, and at worst, a change to cancer. So reflux symptoms are actually very common in the population. In the large intestine, there are many symptoms that patients may complain of. They may complain of constipation or diarrhea, or even an alternation between constipation and diarrhea. They may complain of accompanying pain or bloat or cramp. Or they may complain of blood issuing from the anus with stool or by itself. Some of these symptoms could represent serious disease. And so the gastroenterologist will have to analyze these symptoms, perhaps do an examination like a colonoscopy in order to diagnose what these symptoms are caused by. In the area of the liver, common symptoms that patients may complain about relate to different kinds of hepatitis diseases. And common symptoms would be tiredness, lethargy, itchiness, or jaundice, which is a yellowness of the whites of the eyes as well as the skin. The gallbladder may have problems too, and there may be severe pain due to gallstones causing an inflammation of the gallbladder. The pancreas can also cause pain in the upper abdomen due to inflammation. And this inflammation can be due to various things, including infections or even excessive use of alcohol. So you can see that there is a large range of symptoms that patients could complain about that are referable to the digestive system. And so gastroenterologists have a role in the community to help patients to understand where their symptoms may be coming from and to help them to diagnose whether or not they have any disease entity that needs to be treated in the digestive system.